It's the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday, April 17th. I'm James Spann. A soggy pattern continues. We'll deal with occasional showers and storms today, tomorrow, Sunday, maybe into Monday. Everybody wants to know when's it going to rain and how much. Let's see if we can get some answers for you. That's a big setup this morning. A large upper low is over the four corners back in the southwest U.S. That's where Arizona, Utah, Colorado, New Mexico come together. That'll be lifting out this weekend. Let's look at the radar early this morning at 5.06. Uh, the bulk of the rain was south of a line from near Utah to Greensboro to Montgomery. Uh, just a good soaking rain falling in parts of Marengo and Wilcox and Dallas counties. The northern half of the state is relatively dry to start the day at least. Pretty cool morning, uh, 55 in Fort Payne and Cullman. We had that wedge front move in from the east yesterday. That's one of the reasons we had so much rain in, in parts of North Alabama was the low-level convergence provided by that uh, low-level boundary. And it was much cooler over the eastern side of the state yesterday. So look at the watch warning map around the nation this morning. Look at the winter storm warnings in effect for the Colorado Rockies. They're being slammed with heavy snow because of the upper trough out there. And down to the south, you can see flash flood watches from southeast Texas to the western tip of the Florida Panhandle. In Alabama, the counties involved in that are Mobile, Baldwin, Escambia, Clark, Washington, and Choctaw. Back to early this morning, parts of Choctaw County under a flash flood warning. Severe weather possibilities today, a marginal risk for Mobile and Baldwin counties. The uh, bigger risk as well to the west uh, from the southern tip of Texas up into the southern plains. Pretty much the same zone tomorrow. Uh, we don't expect any severe weather tomorrow, but all of a sudden, now on day three, which is Sunday, we have the standard slight risk of severe weather for most all of Alabama, except for the southeastern tip of the state and an enhanced risk for parts of Arkansas and the Arklatex region. Of course, we'll take a look at that here in just a second. And this is the rain for the next five days. The QPF, this is valid through Wednesday morning of next week, suggesting additional rains in the two to three inch category. All right, model fans, here we go. The GFS, the global forecast system. This is valid today at 1 o'clock. The upper low drifting east. Down below that, this is the surface chart. And again, we're just kind of stuck in that soupy air mass. Here's the high-resolution HRRR valid today at 3 o'clock. And you can see it looks pretty wet. You know, yesterday... Uh, the models had kind of suggested a, a decent part of the day could be dry. Well, now they're coming up with a wetter solution. So I know a lot of people are trying to squeeze in outdoor activities, spring sports, and it's been a pretty tough week, and it looks like this might be a challenging day for that. Now, tomorrow, this is the uh, setup here. We have a broad surface low that is over far eastern Colorado, and the GFS looks drier for us. This is the high-res NAM, and again, we've got the A-Day football games tomorrow at Auburn and Tuscaloosa, and the news is a little better here, but understand that, I'll just say up front, these models are struggling with this pattern. Every run is looking different, but on this particular run, this is the 06 z run, this is 4 o'clock tomorrow, you can see that there might be a shower near Auburn, but a decent part of the day there on that side of the state could be dry. The really big rains are still to the west. And even Tuscaloosa looks relatively dry. So for both of these venues, Tuscaloosa and Auburn for the football games tomorrow, you might make it with no rain. I'd say it's unlikely, but you've got a chance. But certainly I would take the rain gear. We have seen other runs that bring in rain into Tuscaloosa uh, sooner than this. But clearly there could be a shower at any time tomorrow, but the better chance would seem to be now tomorrow night. In fact, this is after midnight tomorrow night, Sunday morning at 4 o'clock. looks pretty wet. This is the GFS at 7 o'clock Sunday morning, and uh, all of a sudden now we have a surface low near Memphis. And uh, that would suggest, I mean, come on, this is, you know, April 19th, the middle of tornado season. We have to watch out for that. Uh, there's a look at the upper feature Sunday morning at 7. The trough axis is still west of the state. This is the low-level jet Sunday morning at 7 and the 40-knot range. And that's not overwhelming, but it's certainly supportive of strong storms. This could be the limiting factor Sunday. It's the instability. At that hour of the day, there's just not much. 
If we see a big rain mass Saturday night and Sunday morning, I'm not so sure Sunday would be a big severe weather day as the capes are very limited. Shear values are not overly impressive. This is the storm relative helicity from zero to three kilometers. Uh, the tornado threat Sunday, it's not zero, but on the other hand, I'd say it's fairly low. So we'll be watching for strong storms Sunday, maybe some hail and strong gusty winds. And then Monday, everything begins to lift out, but still the trough axis is coming through. So a stray shower is possible in spots on Monday. And then finally, we get into dry air Tuesday. It looks like a beautiful day. Sunshine in full supply. We start the day in the 40s, the high around 70, and Wednesday looks great. So if you're looking for two back-to-back -back dry days, there you go, Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. Moisture comes back Thursday. Some showers are possible by then. And this is a week from today, Friday the 24th. Again, we've seen different looks. This run keeps the main troughing well to the west, and that certainly suggests a chance of showers. We have seen other runs that might suggest a chance of strong to severe storms. This does not suggest that. Just a few showers on that day on the 24th. Here's the end of the forecast. This is Sunday the 26th. Pretty big upper low over the northeast United States, and if this is right, that day would be dry and pleasant. Temperatures coming off the ensemble. You can see those colder mornings middle of next week. 46 by Wednesday morning. Highs for the most part in the 70s. This is suggesting we might see 83 around Saturday the 25th. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on the live stream of the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.